you know, I bet if I come out and point at what we're doing in there. Are you filming? Yes. Oh, we want to start working on the floor. So we need to get this heater out of here. And uh, it's metal pipe just through the floor. And then it elbows towards the center and goes right into rubber hose. So I'm just going to disconnect the metal pipe from the rubber hose underneath. I'm just going to take off a couple of hose clamps okay. and, and pry those off. And then that's as far as we're gonna go. I'm just gonna bypass the heater and I'll take some of the plumbing uh, fittings and hook the two hoses back together underneath so then and secure them under there. will be like, the system will be, um, how do you say that, enclosed or how does that work? Cause what does this thing do? This affects- This is a, a, a heater, heater core. So the engine coolant circulates, it comes from the engine and circulates through the heater and back either to the front heater or back to the radiator. Okay. Um, so it's important to keep, it has to keep, that system has to keep operating. You can't just like trash it. I believe it. so. I, that's what I was trying to figure out is can you just take these off and then cap them? But it'll be just as easy to just basically hook the hoses together underneath so the water can circulate. Okay just like it has been through here, only it'll just bypass right here. So once that disconnected underneath, and I'll take off the wiring that once I get in here, tuck it underneath and just secure it down there, and then okay. I'll just leave it. Okay, Everything, because cool. I, I can't even, for, I don't even know where it goes. <laughs> okay. That would be a big job, and I don't think it's necessary. Okay. Because everything's secured. Cool. And still accessible. So, so I'm gonna do my work underneath. Okay. And then once it's done underneath, then I'll come back up here and start taking this guy apart. Cool. Thanks. So I'm under the bus, getting ready to disconnect the the heater hoses. Um, don't expect to lose too much fluid, but there might be a little. Um, this is the muffler, and so that's kind of in the way. But I think I can get this. Just gotta get up here and take off these two hose clamps, get the rubber hoses off. And then uh, I'm gonna use these fittings, hook them back together to each other and just then clamp it back in to, to seal up the, uh, the hoses. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Just 
gonna be easier to turn these off from up here. There's a gun. Oh. Okay. So it's just easier to turn these off from top side. Let's see if I can get on that one. But let me just turn this guy off. Already got it most of the way. Oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Deal. Might not get this one from, from up here. Mm. That's okay. We got, we got one of them. So, I'll take this one from underneath. Okay. Looks like it was a little more awkward than a... It was pretty awkward down below to get that pipe off. So I decided to just lift the heater up oh. enough that I could get on that pipe from up here. Oh, okay. I think that will make it a lot. So you're trying to get this pipe easier. off right here. Yeah. Get that one. So just got Six, six screws pop out. There's a junk in there. <laughs> oh, in the tops of so in the screw. In the screw, so you can't get Slots. the. Oh, I got it. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Yeah. I think I'll, co I'll come up and hold it. Oh, I see. It's bending. That's sitting in there. So, yeah, I'll have to figure out a way to brace this maybe back to here. this loose so when you cut off the cut off the wires oops it's still dripping a little oh yeah yeah I just need to go underneath. So I just put this back together and then I'll put this in the, put the hoses back up underneath. Oh. Put the clamps back on. Where'd you get that thing from? And, uh, these were, this is the pipe that was down in here. Oh, and you just put the. Oh, well, it was coming up through there like that. Right. And then I took the elbow off the other side. Oh, I gotcha. And just put it back on here. Okay. So then we got the hose fittings here. Okay. Gotcha. Clamped, and then I'll secure it underneath to the bottom of the bus so it doesn't flop around. Okay. Cool. And Good job. I'll tape these off and and you will have secure them, and we'll be done. You'll be done with your project for the day. Yeah, you beat me. <laughs> My project's yeah. not done yet. Yep. Didn't lose very much fluid. Cool. So. Alrighty. Thank you. Pretty so good. that is called the what? What is that thing called again? the heater 
Yeah, for the, the heater. I mean, like, I thought I had it. It's got a heater. More of a name. <laughs> core. Okay. I guess is. But it does more than just also, heat. It cools. But that's the heater. Got the heater core, and it's got two fans, two electric fans, in there that blew the heat as well. Okay, but it didn't. It didn't have anything to do with cooling then. No, there was okay. no air conditioning. Okay, this is just <laughs> the heater. Okay. Yep. The old way. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, buddy. Hi, little bear.